Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. Today I've got a little video I'm going to show you uh, basically how you can manage multiple accounts using a, a service called TweetDeck. Now, this is a free service that's actually uh, supplied by Twitter. You can head to TweetDeck.com or you can head to TweetDeck.com twitter.com and you can gain access now the way it works is I'm going to show you very briefly here before we get started this is one profile I've set up basically you can customize this whole set of columns here add a bunch of accounts and you get this entire this entire sort of like service here where I can go through and see all the mentions for all my accounts in one place um, all the twi tweets that I've put out, put out through all my accounts and I also can see messages, that sort of thing. And allows me to very easily manage multiple accounts all at once. I can set up lists, activity, that sort of thing. Um, and it's just it's really useful because you're able to just in one place see everything that's going on with your accounts as opposed to logging in, logging out, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to log out, start a fresh account and show you exactly what you can expect and how you can get things set up so that you can go through and... Um, manage multiple Twitter accounts all at once. Okay, so if you head to, as I said earlier, tweetdeck.com or tweetdeck.twitter.com, you will get met with this screen. And assuming you already have a Twitter account, you can quite easily log in. Simply hit log in here and you get brought up, taken to your Twitter page. So I'm going to log into one of my accounts, the one I sell my um, web design service from. And we're just going to log in there. As you see, we get this whole welcome to TweetDeck thing, and it sort of shows you basically what can be what you can be done. I'm just going to X that for now. As you can see, it already has a few things already lined up for me. Straight away, I've got home, which is just my basic Twitter feed for this account, my notifications, messages, uh, messages I get for that account, and then of course a little trending area. I can actually get rid of some of this stuff if I want to. So I can actually come up here, click remove, and it's gone. Um, notifications, maybe I want to keep that. Home, I might actually get rid of. I'm just going to get right down to the bare basics. I will, no, I'll get rid of the messages. Okay, so what I'm going to do is have notifications there, and that's it. Now down on the left, we have our little bar here. I'm going to click the expand button, and this is how we start, nice and clean. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to add a couple of accounts just so you can see how this all works so I'm actually going to first of all I'm going to go to accounts you see we have one here I can link another account that I own obviously there's a little bit of information here once you've read that we click continue and we get this option here to add another account so what I'm going to do I'm going to add this, this one here authorize and now I have two accounts. And just for the sake of the video, we'll add one more account. Continue. Authorize. So now we have three accounts here. And I can actually, even just under my accounts, I can go through and, and see, before I even start adding things to the, to the actual deck itself, I can click on this and get information about this profile, like how many tweets, how many I'm following. I can go through and see my lists, that sort of thing. Close that up, I can go down to the same thing here. Now, there is a bit of information here. So you can see we've got our accounts here. Now what I want to do so I actually want to start adding things along this side here. And the way you do that is I've got notifications set up. I'm actually going to add a column. Now the first column I'm going to do is add uh, mentions for all accounts. This is one way that it's quite often when you get notifications, you get a lot of fluff and a lot of people liking things, which is, which is good. But sometimes you want to cut to the chase. You want to cut to the interactions, the people you want to actually interact with. So the first thing I'm going to do here is mentions for all accounts. I'm going to add that on there. And you see that I've actually got mentions for all of my accounts here. For example, if I wanted to do something with this one here, I can, because I have the buffer extension installed, that's showing up, but I can retweet and I can choose which account I want to retweet with. And if you have buffer installed again, you've got this buffer retweet option. I can go through under any account, retweet, respond. I can change who I'm responding as go from there so that's really handy really really handy 
So now that I have this set up, if I don't want to worry about all, all the people who followed me or liked my posts, I can simply go through and remove this notifications now because I have, first of all, my mentions set up and I've got my little column. Now what happens if I want to schedule a tweet? This is actually uh, really handy if you don't want to pay for a service or sign up for another service. I can go to tweet here, say this is my tweet. I can choose which account I want to use. Maybe I want to use this one. I can add an image if I want to. I can add an image if I want to. I can schedule or I can even just send a direct message. I can even hold and get this to stay open if I want to do more than one. But to schedule a tweet, all I have to do here is click schedule tweet and you get this little time and calendar thing. So maybe I want to change it to 11, 11 p.m. on the 22nd of December. And I can then go ahead and schedule this tweet if I want to. It's that simple. So it's pretty. It's a pretty handy tool. I'm not going to schedule this because I don't sort of need to. You can schedule your tweets as well from here from pretty much all of your accounts. Now to continue adding onto this deck, the next one I wanna look at, because I like to cover as much as I can, is obviously messages. If people are sending you private messages, you can also set this up to show all of your accounts. So I simply click that, and now I have all the messages set to all my accounts. The other thing too is that uh, I can actually go through and add mentions for individual accounts or messages for individual accounts. So that's another cool sort of thing that you can add pretty easily. And you can do with activity, once again, I can only add one account at a time, but it's pretty easy to do. You simply click the account you want, add that column in. But since we have our mentions here, I wanna stick it and keep it as streamlined as possible. So I'm gonna focus on the mentions and obviously on the messages here. So once again, you've got pretty much all these columns to choose from. You can add a likes column if you want to as well. So choose what likes you want from what account. Another thing you can do, which is really handful, is add a list. So I go to lists here. Maybe I choose this uh, influential bloggers list. Add that there. Now this is handy because if you do ha if you have a lot of followers and you're trying to interact with a set with a, a set group of people, you can actually add a few lists. So I might even add another list here. You see, I've got one here from one of my other accounts, I can add that column. So now if I want to, I can go onto my deck and go, okay, I want to respond to this here. Once again, using whichever account I prefer, but I can go through and set these up. So I can basically set up a bit of a workflow. So first of all, I might respond to mentions on my account, any messages that come through, and then I can start interacting with people. So I might go down this column that column and start interacting with the people I want to interact with. And you can create these lists. Uh, I have got a, a video called 36 tips for Twitter, where it shows you how to create a list uh, sort of during that video. Uh, there's a link to that below if you want to check that out. But basically I can go through, set up my lists and interact as I want. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty handy. I can edit the list here if I want to and add people. Go from there. So it's a really cool uh, way of setting up your Twitter account. So if you have multiple account, multiple accounts, you can go through and start your interactions, whether it be replying or certain people you've set up in lists. Now, if you've never created a list before, it is pretty easy, but uh, basically in, if you go to twitter.com, which I will just do quickly, you can basically log into Twitter, click on your drop down here, go to lists, and you can create a list here and start adding people. That's how simple it is. So now if I head back to TweetDeck, I can actually, if I've created a new list, I can add that in there as I have before. Now exploring some more of this is, um, we can also have a list of people who have followed us. So if you're the sort of person who wants to follow back, we can click and add that on there. And we can add all three of these if we want, but we have to add them in separate columns. So maybe it's this one here, I go add column. This one here, add column, add column. and I've got people who have followed me recently on these columns. So once again, like I said, we can go from left to right. If we have a bit of a workflow, we want to interact and then follow back, we can set that up. And we can go through and add and subtract as many columns as we want. We can choose to add our schedule posts. So if I add this here, you can see which posts have been scheduled. And maybe I want to add that before the followers. All I have to do is simply click on these three bars here and shuffle it across into place. So that's, as, that's how easy it is. Or you can simply click on this drop down here and use these arrows to go left and right between columns.
So you can change the order and set things up exactly as you want to. Once again, we can keep adding. There's a few different things. We can create a collection. Um, you can go through, you can add trending. So this is like hashtags, that sort of thing. And you can actually even add a hashtag if you want to. So maybe I want to uh, change the trend source trends, or maybe I want to choose regions, that sort of thing. So you've got a, a few options. See how now we've now added Hov Day here. I can actually change this to something else. Maybe I can change it to WordPress. So now I have like a hashtag WordPress line. So if you're actually following a hashtag and you want to keep a, keep a, uh, a bit of a tab on what's going on so you can res respond to that. Once again, I'll use the arrows this time. I can go down and move this across. So now we have our interaction to this hashtag WordPress just here. And we're starting to have a pretty full deck of uh, yeah, columns that we can work with. So this is perfect. Basically, the idea with this is instead of trying to log in and log out and getting on your phone and using the different profiles, I like this because if you have a lot of scheduling set up and a lot of things going in the background, you can log in once a day, 20 minutes or so, start with one column and simply move from left to right, respond to people, follow back, do whatever it is you've got to do and then you're done and that's basically it and like i said at any point you can go into the add columns here and explore we've sort of explored most of these but um, it's just a really uh, handy tool for getting things the way you want you can actually set up your feeds that sort of thing so and you can set it up so if i go back here let's add add in a feed well actually a feed to use us so this is all, all of my tweets so if i want to go through and uh you know for whatever reason keep track of the things i've been scheduling i can do that i can also add in or change the author so you can add in your actual feeds actual things that you've tweeted yourself or probably the better idea for that if you want to remove this you can just click remove is to just create a list of your own accounts that way you can see what you've been putting out in one column so you've got a few options there so like I said, all it does, the whole idea of TweetDeck is to take the, the, the standard features of Twitter and create one wide deck you can go through. So it's pretty handy. Now, before I do finish up, there are a few more things you can do. If you head into your settings and then to settings again, you can set up your keyboard shortcuts, or uh, view sheet keyboard shortcuts, but you can also go into settings and change the look. So I can actually make the columns narrow. I can even make the font size small if I want to. And I can change a few things here, such as auto playing GIFs, um, stream tweets in real time, which I do recommend. That way you can keep up with it. Go to done. And you see everything's a lot smaller. We can fit more in there. Although maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want to be able to really focus on one thing at a time. So we can actually make these columns wide now. And we'll make the font large. And you see now we've got these larger, wider columns. So we can spend a bit more time focusing on what we're looking at. And on top of that, if you don't want, if you don't like this white, maybe you do a lot of work at night and you don't want it to be quite so bright and in your face, we can change the theme to dark. And we've got this nice dark theme. So you've got a few options there to personalize it as well. Uh, but overall, it's really just the functionality that makes this awesome. So if you do are looking for more Twitter tips and more ways to schedule, I do have a playlist, a social media and a Twitter playlist I'll put in the description below. I'll also add some video cards at the end of this so you can click on and keep on watching if that interests you. Otherwise, if you found it useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel um, and we'll keep sending you tips like this or check out my website for more information, which is willbuildyourblog.com, all about blogging, reaching people online. Otherwise, have a good day and I'll see you again next time.